59,273 miles on a Q10. Basically touch, upside down view of the front and the back of the car. The 2024 Honda Prologue Elite, the fully electric, top of the line, state of the art. This is Honda's first ever full electric SUV. And welcome Honda to this sector of cars. I am really excited to be standing in front of this car. I drove it earlier. It's really nice. Most Hondas are very easy to drive, very fun to drive. It's got a lot of storage, a lot of space inside the car. And the Elite trim has everything that you need. The nice 21 inch alloy wheels. These are massive. These are the biggest wheels that Honda has ever done on any vehicle and also the parking sensors, the interior of the car, all the 360 camera, the panoramic moonroof. I'll get to it, I'll show you everything. For those of you who are interested to know what the uh, mileage limit for the fully charged uh, Honda Prologue Elite is, it is about 273 miles on a full you know, charged battery. For the Touring, it's a little over 280. I believe it's like 283. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I'll just walk around a little bit just to show you uh, some of the features on the outside and then get in the car. Uh, all of these cars, all of these prologues come with the Bridgestone um, tires. As I mentioned to you, the 21 inch, you have the rear. Uh, of the vehicle with the nice chrome uh, accents down below. You have the parking sensors. Uh, you see the Prologue Elite logo on the bottom left corner. Honda does the um, the Honda wording in the back, and as you can see, they've spaced it out. It kind of represents that width of this vehicle that is wider uh, footprint compared to the other ones. And then now you have this all-wheel drive E. This is going to be on uh, every electric Honda. You probably have known some of the cars that are abroad outside of the US. We'll have the ambulance. In beautiful Seattle. All right, there you go. So let's get to it. Let's talk a little bit about the key. I showed you a little bit of what the key looks like before but um, they look like a BMW key or a Chevy key. Of course, being a Chevy platform, you know, some of the stuff are very similar. Double tapping this guy will pop the trunk. Let's get close. It sits up a little higher, I would say, than the CRV and the HRV, but it's more similar to, similar on the height to the Passport and the Pilot. It is quite wide. It might not be very high, and that is because the car is not a very tall SUV. I am six um, one, and I can I, I bear, ba basically stand here, so I can kind of see the the sky uh, light or basically the panoramic uh, window. Going back here, they do sell accessories like the cargo cover, so you can add that to the car. Close this guy with the button up here. You got the backup camera over there. And then more to talk about is the port for the charger. Push down here and it pops open. And you have the different level charging that I will explain thoroughly later in the future videos. But uh, you have the port over here and if you wanna close it. The Elite comes with a card. So you can basically touch this here. Let's get into it. You have the blind spot indicators and the side mirror looks different. On this end, you have the memory seat for driver one and driver two. Um, you have the parking brake over here with the sport mode. You can pop the trunk over here by pulling twice. Let's grab a seat and zoom out a little bit. Okay, so first thing, um, the Elite has the heads up display over there so with your foot on the brake and pushing the start button this thing pops open very large screen and we'll stay in the demo mode for now 
All right. Um, so this is a quite different uh, software. You obviously have the 360 camera on the Elite and you have an upside down view of the front and the back of the car. You do have the front and the rear that you can toggle through. You have the left and right side, front and back, and you also can have just a 360 over there on that side or get it out of the way. And let's do just a normal backup camera over here. And maybe I can add the, this is the guidelines that can come on and off. For now, we'll leave it there. Let's go back. We'll obviously talk about more of these features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but you do have the, let's turn this off. You have the heated and the cooling seats on both sides on the Elite. It's a very nice design. Your speakers, your heads up display over there that you can see it shows the miles per hour and you can change that obviously. Very nice uh, buttons over here. Makes it nicer to adjust all these climate control buttons. You have the wireless phone charger over here that you will leave your phone like this. Move this forward and backwards. I'll just leave it like that. Plenty of space there. With the glove box compartment, pretty much same size as the um, same size as the other SUVs that Honda makes. And then you should have the Google Maps over here. You can also. Yes, yes, we know. You also have the map over on this screen too. And again, I haven't really played around with these features, but I'm sure, there you go, you can, um, you know, bring the map over here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, less distraction. Let's see if I can move the steering wheel a little bit back and forth and up and down like that the Wi-Fi hotspot you have Honda link with OnStar that anybody who purchases this car will activate that for them and then the charging which obviously you can have more um, settings and schedules and things like that this car requires you to download the Honda link app I'll do a full thorough video on the Honda link later on but for now just looking at the basics, looking at the uh, few things that stand out, the heated steering wheel, the adaptive cruise control and things like that that are on this end, and then your wiper plates. One thing to know is there is no more gear uh, shift over here or shift knob over here. It is a switch behind the steering wheel. So I'll show it to you. And in order to work it, this is the park. You pull it towards yourself and go down to go to drive. You pull it towards yourself and go up to go to reverse and then the guidelines come up here and you can deactivate it and obviously it's a dynamic guideline and then when you want to park it you push the park again one more time so this is only for you to change gear you don't want to touch it while driving you do have the uh, regenerated braking switch only on this side not on this end but let me see if i can go behind the steering wheel i can't really see much but you have the audio volume on this end. There you go. Getting into the back seat, the door opens quite generously and you can get in. You do have an actual outlet over here and you have a couple USB-Cs. You do have two USB-Cs in the front as well. There you go. And then, um, yeah, I'm again, very spacious. Uh, I can sit comfortably here. Let's, I just wanted to get a little closer to the design of the front of the car. This is the Raven black color. We've received the Touring and an Elite. It's very slick, very nice looking car. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing, I hope you do too. I don't know if you have the option to find one of these at a local Honda dealer, but um, they're coming out. They're out and they're ready to go find their new owner. And uh, 
down. If you have any questions, any comments about the way this car uh, looks or the features and all that, just let me know. One more thing I want to show you is $59,750 is MSRP, including the destination charge. 273 miles and, and that's it. Do you have it? If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. I am a message away for those of us or those of you who have questions. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.